We are packed up and ready to roll. We are leaving a little later. It was dumping rain earlier and I still didn't have everything ready. Uh, we're gonna hit the road. I'm not sure how far I'll make it. I'm headed to Daniel's dad's first because I got a painting I want to give him and I also want to show him the car. He's never seen the car. I built this car in memory of his son and to get the anger and everything out of me. So we're gonna give her a proper road trip. It's my first time actually being alone with empathy for a long period of time other than just short jaunts. So I'm excited about that because when I was building her was the last time I had done that. So let's hit the road. All right, went to fill up, got a silly problem. Um, when we put this back on, it kind of got caught on the edge. So it doesn't go down. So that's what I'm trying to force right now. I got it so the nozzle will push it off to the side. That, that That's just gonna have to work. We're out here in McPherson, we're getting some fuel. We are about an hour into the trip. I'm getting about 15 miles a gallon, but I'm getting a hell of a headwind. Um, but we're on our way to North Carolina and we're gonna go basically kind of jut down and I'm gonna shoot 54 across uh, Missouri. So let's hit the road again. We are at a gas station in El Dorado, and I'm eating me some pizza. I gotta get that box. Uh, eating some pizza, taking a break. I don't think we'll make it to Crocker tonight, but we'll get within a couple hours of there. So we'll see where we end up landing, and I got my bed behind me. I'm just having fun cruising the road. She's been driving amazing. She's been cruising great. Bags have been doing awesome. So, like, the car's been just awesome. So, I'm going to clean the windshield and hit it again. We find ourselves in Iola, Kansas. So we just did another fill-up. And I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys for the night. I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys for the night. Um, I'm going to probably still keep driving. But I love you guys. And I will definitely do better on the video tomorrow. I've just been busy getting the car ready and everything else. So I love you guys, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye. All right, we are in middle of nowhere, Missouri. It is like 2 a.m. It is pitch quiet out here. But we are still cruising. We're on our way to Crocker. We're going to go see Daniel's dad. I'm probably going to set up right in his driveway. Yeah. It's going to be pretty fun. So... It's been a great drive. I've been having a lot of fun. I feel super relaxed and just having a blast. Yeah, let's hit the road. So it's been a pretty good trip so far. Had some great conversations throughout the way at all these gas stations throughout the way. I kind of really do enjoy traveling at night. Um, we're about an hour away from Crocker. I'm not sure I'm gonna set up the tent when I get there, but I think that I might just sleep in the car and just catch a couple hours sleep. I think I can squeeze in the back seat, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good damn trip. I'm having a lot of fun, I'm really enjoying the car. The car is running great, driving great. Like, I have I found her little sweet spots all over the place. It's, I'm having a lot of fun. Like, I'm really glad I went out on the car. I'm really, 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 really glad. So, all right, let's, uh, finish up our little break and let's hit back the road. So we made it out of here to Daniel's parents house. I'm just looking at all the gorgeous trees. You got the reds and the oranges and the greens and everything. It's just so gorgeous out here. So we're out here on the road and that via air compressor just decided to quit. I still have one so we're still good to go. I'm gonna disconnect it and we should be still good. Just less movement with all the air and everything else. Pray that I stay safe. Eating some horrible food at a gas station, per as usual. So, uh, we just fueled up. We are about 13 hours away and we're gonna keep booging. So I took longer today hanging out with Daniel's parents, but hanging out with them makes me feel better. It makes me feel good. So, let's hit the road. All right, we have lost all marker lights on the car. We are outside of Rolla. The road literally beat the crap out of the car enough. So toggle switch went out and 
I don't have barely enough wire out of the dash and I'm having to pull shit through. So, yeah. At least I figured out what the problem is. After a fist fight, I got her replaced. So, we're gonna call it there for tonight and I'm gonna keep driving. So I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll keep rocking. It is nearly one in the morning. We have a little over 11 hours left and we are still cruising. I'm not tired yet. I haven't slept as much as I should, but if I get tired, I will pull over because I've got the camper. So I'm just excited to get over there to the event. Like I know, I know it's going to be a ton of fun. I get to see my wife and getting to see my wife is huge. So we're at the gas station and what rolls up but another airbagged sick ass ride. He's got a 4BT in there. It's been chassis swapped. It's got semi wheels. This thing's sick. Custom bed. That is a sick ride. He picked a great place to park too. Nobody else here and two bitchin' ass rides. That's fucking sick. I love this thing. Yeah, look at that grill. Love them pipes. And they look good sitting next to each other. Yeah. I need to catch a little bit of sleep. So, threw the mattress in here. And this is how you take a nap. Yeah, but. So we had to do a few repairs this morning and had to do a few other things, but we are back up and rocking. We should be able to hit the road and do some massive cruising today and we will get to North Carolina. So, it's been an amazing day and it's about to even get more amazing. I'm excited to hit the road. And I've met some amazing people and had some great conversations and it's just been a great day. So, let's hit the road and go have some fun. social and I'm pretty sure they're out for a drive headed somewhere we're in somewhere between uh, Nashville and Knoxville so I don't know where they're at I think they're out for doing a cruise freaking it's just epic seeing those cars it's like one of my like I think it's like my fourth or fifth favorite car somewhere there I can't, I can't decide but yeah it's just epic to see those on the road while I'm driving this I was on the highway there and I absolutely annihilated a bird and there's just a little bit of smudge there, that's it. That scared the crap out of me. So we just filled up, I cleaned off all the bird goo and now we're hitting the highway again. So, let's keep rolling. Alright, that traffic jam added a ton of time, that sucked. Um, we just got refueled up, it only took two gallons but we didn't go very far. And it's just because we were sitting there idling. So, let's hit the road again. I don't think we'll make it in until late. This sucks. Uh, it's the last fill up for the night. Um, about 45 minutes away from the campgrounds where we're gonna be throwing the event. Um, wife's already over there. We'll get over, we'll set up the tent, and we're probably gonna crash out and go to bed. So, I'll see you guys over there in a second. All right, so we have made it <laughs> here to the event. I found her. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are gonna set that bad boy up and uh, get some sleep and go have some fun. Yay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Wanted to let you guys know we got a really cool announcement coming up. I'm going to let her go ahead and go with it. 
What's up guys? I'm Amanda from the Moonshiners. I'm at BJ today. Getting into this whole rat rod and you know the world of, of cars basically. He's introduced me to the, the amazing world of cars. So he's giving me some pretty cool ideas. So we're gonna see you at SEMA 2024 with her with the build. We're gonna be building it so she's got her own booth and her own setup. So super excited about it. You guys should definitely tune in. Check it out. Right out there is a gorgeous woman making bacon and sausage. Who looks terrible right now? What are you doing to me? <laughs> Amazing. I'll get a close up shot. No! Right there. No! <laughs> I love you. Grampus, he spits after the whole thing. It's a big old mess now. Definitely was a good night. We are all packed up, and now we are headed to Spring Hill, just north of Tampa. So we will find somewhere to crash for the night. I'll probably look up a state park or something, find somewhere to set up, not do too much driving tonight. And uh, we will get ourselves set up and... Yeah, it's throat. So we're out here at a KOA somewhere in Georgia. It is gorgeous here, but it is foggy, foggy, foggy. And it's lightened up quite a bit. But yeah, it's still it's still really foggy. I'm still cleaning up. Um, it's when it's foggy like this, it seems to stick to the windshield on empathy. So I can't seem to see anywhere. So I gotta like let it clean up. I do have a defrost, and it does blow on the windshield, but it, it doesn't get rid of the fog. <laughs> it makes it a real, real butt pain to drive. So I'm just letting it get cleared out and then take a shower and then we'll roll out. So I'm gonna start packing this stuff up. One of the little rubber band things that holds one of the uh, bars was giving me hell. That was that made it a lot interesting to put that away. Definitely more interesting. So I'm gonna go take a shower. All right, we just fueled up and uh, we're getting ready to hit the road. We're about five and a half hours away, so it'll probably take me about six because I stay a little underneath the speed limit. But uh, yeah, we're headed our way there. We should only have two fill-ups, I believe. So heck yeah, let's go have some fun. We probably only have one gas stop left. And by the way, 95 through Georgia, not fun. It's like a big porpoise highway. 55 is like all I could get going. Maybe 60 at some point. Not a fun road. But she's doing really good. Although she got a squeak now. I gotta go under and loop the four link. It's fun. She squeaks now. Can't be too squeaky. Yeah, Florida, baby. Look at that. Look at blue skies and green trees. Florida. Yeah. I like Florida. Yeah. All right, that was the last fill up. And now we're on the last bit of the drive. So let's cherish the last little bit of this. So we've made it out here to Spring Hill. Um, car made it great. Everything worked really well. It's been a great trip. Um, Florida drivers are insane though. So in Tennessee, when they go down the road, they're like, you know, yeah, that's great. In Florida, they hold the steering wheel, point the phone at you, and almost slam into you while they try and video. It's a different type of driving. But excited to be back, excited to be here, and excited to put in work tomorrow. So. Let's get some sleep and let's go play tomorrow. So I'll see you later. I love you. Bye. By the way, just wanted to mention, I'm out here editing and just really enjoying the, uh, the sounds and the smells and it's just, I breathe better here. Like with my lung issues and stuff like that, the humidity and the air, it just feels cleaner. So. Kansas gets my asthma and all my other stuff going and just oh, this time of year I'm usually coughing and hacking and I was really on my way to having really bad problem with the Milo and 
here I'm breathing so much cleaner my chest feels better it's just awesome so I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow I'm actually gonna be sad to leave Florida like I've been having so much fun here empathy literally belongs here in Florida like no joke like she is like everybody waves at her I'm like driving down the road going like hi 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 I'm gonna give a thumbs up it's fucking awesome so I just, I'm going to miss Florida. I'm excited. I am on fire. This will be my last day out here. Um, I fly back tomorrow morning super early. So we'll get a little bit done. I'm going to clean Empathy out so she's good when she's here and get st stuff packed and all kinds of stuff like that. So we're going to try and get a few more things wired on the car and see what's going on in the shop. I'm honestly a little bit sad that I'm going to be leaving Empathy here.